Mother Warrior. You were broken, pieces left in every bed of every man you've ever been with, pieces taken by every man that did you harm, every woman that did you harm. You were torn, disconnected, wallowing in your dystopia. Another day, manic and mathematical, you did the dishes three times. You refused to let me use the scissors. With no noise and the stench of bleach, I retreated to my room, forever haunted by the kisses that turned into helpless cries. You boil my blood, consistently inconsistent. Today, am I your ghost or your muse? But I forgive you, every time. For you bathed me in your tears and you fed me with your milk. The good days, you built back up what you tore down. Like the warm sheets you put on my bed every night. Like the first sip of coffee after a sleepless night, you soothe my soul. With your withered muscles and your washed out face, you still had the strength to finally look in the mirror, put your glasses on, look what you missed. Like a cedar tree, our growth was slow. However, our roots are deep, strong, hopelessly misguided. At least we hold hands, my mother, warrior. I met an extraordinary woman on the bus to Toronto. For eight hours, we talked till my voice came out in thin rasps. Slowly, she wove the tapestry of her life in stories dripping with poetry and accented with wide smiles and serious eyes. I had just come off of two music festivals in as many weeks. I felt a rare clarity that she could sense in me. Exchanging words, we built a bond far surpassing the mere hours spent together. We spoke of everything and anything. God, travel, cooking, divorce, love, language, art. We spoke of darker things too. At 14, she escaped a terrible fate. She was a survivor in the strongest sense of the word. Where others saw dirt, she saw clay and shaped it into a cup and drank deep. She has a son. She opened a restaurant in Toronto where she teaches Ethiopian cooking. Before I knew it, we were in Ottawa. She showed me photos of her paintings, beautiful floor to ceiling canvases that exude strength and vulnerability. The emotional guards meant for strangers on the bus have been stripped away. We laughed together. I held back tears because her eyes were dry. I felt honesty I may never feel again from my own sisters. We got to Toronto and she paid my subway ticket. We hugged and said goodbye. We promised to connect on Facebook, but I couldn't do it. I knew summer would fade away and I wouldn't be the same person. I couldn't bear to let that amazing once in a lifetime conversation turn into the mundane once a year HBD on the wall. I still have her info, and one day, when I am someone I can be proud of, I will find her. Hurt, in the three letters word, carries the power and actions of a woman. Behind the three letters word, hides the courage of a woman. Beside the three letters word, stands the people and the belongings of a woman. Her eyes guided, her warmth housed, her breast nurtured, her heart loved, her hands gave, her mind ran. But in her soul, how cold she felt, how lost she felt, how despised she felt, how famished she felt, how powerless she felt. In a three-word sentence, tell her how admirable she is. In a three-word sentence, tell her how beautiful she is. In a three-word sentence, tell her she is loved. In your heart, in your mind, in your house.